October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, a time to raise funds for research and education. But how do you know your money is going to a good cause or charity? And joining us now to give us tips on donating is Roseanne Freitas, Public Relations and Communications Manager of the Better Business Bureau, Great West and Pacific. Good morning, Roseanne. Good morning, Christine. So this month is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. We're also approaching the holiday season, so there are a lot of charities that might be asking for donations this time of the year. So what kind of questions should we be asking when donating? So when you are looking to donate to any cause, you really want to know where your money's going. So if it's like a sale that a company is doing, find out how much of that purchase is going to the charity. And usually they'll tell you 10% of the purchase or a dollar for each item sold. They need to be very transparent because some of those sales may have a minimum purchase and even a maximum. So getting all of that information is important. Also, what are the limitations? And that goes back to that minimum maximum donation, but also is there the time frame? And usually if it's a sale, yeah, that will tell you the time frame of which your donation is given to that charity. Also, which charity will receive the donation? Very important. If they don't list that, you really want to be careful because you need to know which charity your money is going to. If it's a bit vague, do a little more digging because the national and the local charities do require companies to sign an agreement before they're able to use their trademark. So you can always reach out to that organization to confirm it. Also, how are they going to use the money? And most of them will tell you it will be going for cancer research or outreach programs or services for patients or survivors. If they're not giving you that information, make sure you ask. And then if they're still not giving it, think twice. We always recommend you go to give.org. It's also by the BBB. And you can go check on those charities. And how can we avoid fraudulent charities that are out there? Well, we know especially for this last year and a half, that those fraud con artists are out there. So what you need to be careful of is if someone is pushing you to make a quick donation, back away. There's no need to be pushed into anything. You need time to do your research. Also, caller ID. We know we can't always trust it. It may say that it's from somebody, and it really isn't. So don't always trust your caller ID to tell you who it's from. Also, one of the tactics they use is they'll tell you you've already pledged and or that you excuse me sorry about that that you've already pledged and they may lie about that so go ahead um, and just do the research there and be careful what they tell you also listen to the name of the charity and write it down and then research it. Again, make sure you know, because sometimes they'll use the same names or it's a very similar name and you wanna figure that out. Also be careful when they do sentimental claims. They're trying to appeal to our heart, but if they're not giving you the details, that is not a good idea and that's usually a red flag. Again, don't donate with wire transfer money or gift card. That's not how legitimate charities do it. And then sometimes they'll promise you if you donate, you'll win something. And that is also not true. So some of those red flags. And are there resources out there where we can verify charities to make sure they're real? Yes, give.org, we mentioned it briefly earlier. That is a really good one. And also go check with the state of Hawaii because all charities have to be registered here. So you want to check with the state of Hawaii and you'll go into the Hawaii Charities and Tax Division of the Hawaii Attorney General. Those are two great locations to look. All right, always verify and do your homework. Thank you so much, Roseanne Freitas with the BBB for joining us once again. Thank you, Christine.